A recovery mission is underway to raise that amphibious assault vehicle that sank during a military training accident off the coast of San Clemente Island last week, killing eight Marines and one sailor. It is a complex process and a research oceanographer at Scripps Institution of Oceanography is giving us some insight. News 8's Alicia Summers reports. Now that the AAV has been located, the operation now is to get it and our Marines and sailor back, including this Marine, Chase Sweetwood. Here's his mother. We need to be able to bury our children. The mother and father of Chase Sweetwood, one of the Marines presumed dead in the sunken amphibious assault vehicle, just want his body back. I want his body back so we can put him to sleep, put him down. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been really hard knowing that their bodies are, are, have been in that vehicle and so far down. And I think from the beginning of this, we knew, we knew, I, I think our, our souls knew these boys were not floating in the water. I think we knew that they were in this, in this tank. The Chula Vista native died the day before his 19th birthday. A recovery mission is in the works for Chase, Cesar Villanueva, and six other military members. This remote operational vehicle will help. It has manipulators. Uh, which it can use to grab things. Uh, it can have a repertoire of tools that it uses to, it's just like an auto shop underwater. This type of equipment will be able to generate a map of the site and possibly secure the 26 ton AAV so a ship can raise it up from the seafloor. Given that depth, it provides them a lot of opportunities for bringing in large ships that would then presumably have the capability to raise a craft. The Navy says it has expedited the recovery mission to the end of this week. I, I just want them home. Um, I feel for us being as parents, but I also grieve for these boys. A dignified transfer of our Marines and sailor will happen as soon as possible after the conclusion of recovery operations. Marcella? All right, Alicia, thanks.